I've got some company this morning. A Valley teenager is grabbing the attention of the tech world with his innovation. 16-year-old Mars Kapadia is from Gilbert. He was first noticed by Popular Mechanics Magazine in 2020 for his smart glasses, something he created for a school science fair. And you can see that Mars is joining us live in Studio 12A this morning for an update on those glasses. Of course, you're going to show off all your cool inventions here first. Definitely. Tell me how you got the idea for these smart glasses. Yeah, so I actually watched the Avengers movie. I okay. saw Tony Stark, he had Edith. And I was like, I need to build one for myself. He used those glasses, he controlled drones, he did so many cool things, all just by looking. And I'm like, that's the future. You know, I watched the Avengers movie and I didn't quite have those same ideas, so I'm very impressed that you came <laughs> up with that. Okay, now tell Thank me you. about the glasses. Show me them here and show yeah. me what they can do and what makes them maybe a little different than some other glasses that are out there. Definitely. So you can actually put them on if okay. you'd like. You know here. I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, I've turned them on. So look at these, how cool that is. You can see the screen in there. That's awesome. Yeah, um, the lenses flip and rotate up if you're using them indoors, outdoors. Um, these glasses, they can actually be connected with your phone. And the difference from other companies um, in their glasses technology is that my lens is mounted right on your eyes. Oh, cool. So you can see everyone here. Scott, yeah. I know Scott's jealous over there, not getting to, uh, those are amazing. to put on the glasses. He himself. made those for his school science fair. <laughs> yes. I made a volcano. It didn't even work. I know, I know. And I want to show you them here if you can get an up-close look. Dave's behind the steady camera here. But see how cool that is. Wow. And you especially designed these um, frames, right? The, yeah. the, how they bend and move. And, and if you can tell us why that's important. So if you're using them indoors or outdoors, I wanted the, the lens is completely transparent. So if you're using them indoors, just like transition lenses, you can actually open up the lens so that you can see them. And if you're using them outdoor in the sunny environment, then you can just flip down the lens. How cool. And people may be thinking like, okay, so what do I use these glasses for? And I was reading, yeah. you were saying some people could use them running, you know, and maybe see their text messages on the screen, but there's yeah. also some applications and maybe the construction field or some other things that they could be used for. Oh yeah, so whether you're in the construction field, if you're doing a skill-based job, or even if you're a doctor, you can have crucial life-saving information displayed in your field of view so it doesn't distract you from the task in hand. Very cool. Okay, tell me what else is here. You've got uh, two other things. We don't want to miss that. I know um, you've been working hard uh, doing, making so many inventions. So tell me about this. <laughs> Thank you. So this is actually part of a mind control mind control. And I can put this I... on, right? Oh yeah, of course, okay. definitely. So Make sure I'm doing it right. So All right, like this? Uh, it should be the other way. This way? way? Yeah. Okay, see, I'm already doing it wrong. So and what does this do? It's an EEG headset. And I have to clip this to my ears? Yeah, those both clip to your ears, and that's basically like the negative terminal. Like if you open up a remote, you see the spring side. It's a negative terminal. terminal. So you're essentially connecting your brain to an electric circuit. And I can do something while wearing this with this vehicle, right? Yeah. Okay, so tell us about it. Based off your attention values, you can actually control the movement of the car. I pick something what? with attention just because if you're concentrating, you can make the car move forward. And if you aren't directly looking at the car, you can make it move reverse. So now it's not plugged in now, so I don't have power, Scott. I know you're jealous. <laughs> yeah. But I look good. That's important. And, <laughs> and do you have a patent for this stuff? Tell us, you know, what, what's next for you? So what's next is I'm actually trying to work with a patent attorney. I just met with him last week and I'm trying to get some patents for these inventions. And I'm also trying to start my own company. So that's where I tried to design this circuit board. And you're doing that all after just graduating from high school. <laughs> you're off to college next. You have so much going on. Thank you. For people that want to get in touch with you, maybe learn more about your products, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? Yeah, um, you can definitely reach out to me by email, uh, marscapadia at gmail.com. You can reach out to me by YouTube, Instagram. And yeah, I'd honestly love to work with the Arizona community. Well, you're making Arizona proud, no question about it. Congratulations on all the cool inventions. We appreciate you coming in bright and early after the 4th of July. Kept us all up late last night. Scott, we'll send it back over to you. All right.